Hello everyone, this is Pejman Rusty and today we wanted to go through one of the, the newest uh, technology that uh, introduced by OpenAI that is called ChatGPT. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers and the chat gpt is an environment uh, that you can uh, you can go in a, in a dialogue with it so it is the ai machine that respond to, to to your question respond to your need and you can go uh, further on, on this and ask uh, any question that you want okay so let's go on this so if you wanted to to open it uh, just need to, to write open ai.com uh, chat gpt blog Backslash blog backslash chat uh, GPT. I put the links in the, the comments of the video for, for you, or simply on the Google write chat GPT. You will see this, this page. Okay, so you can, uh, you can uh, try it uh, by the try chat uh, GPT. Okay, by selecting on this icon. So for the first time, when you, you click on this, uh, you will see a page that asks you to sign in. Okay, if you have an account uh, on uh, OpenAI, so you can use that uh, that account. If you don't have, you should create an account. Simply, it asks you email and send you the, some some uh, confirmation codes and so on. And you can log in and you will see this space. So that's the user. Uh, it's very user friendly. It's so so simple. So you will see some example of that. Some questions that you can ask, like to explain quantum computing in simple terms. So it's talking about the capability. And the limitations of that okay so you can uh, take any example from here uh, here or any other question that you you have it give you uh, a response or some explanation about that okay and uh, it's so efficient and we can we can use it every day so I don't go on mostly on the general parts. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that you 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 know lots of uh, chat environments that uh, that you ask a question and we respond and so on, or, or bots uh, on the social medias. So I don't go a uh, lot in the daily life uh, requests from the chat bots. I go uh, directly to the parts that we can use it on the for 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 science and in our on our work. Okay, so. Uh, apart from the, all the uh, daily life questions that we can uh, we can ask from this environment, we can go and ask more specific questions. For example, you are you are participating in a course, or you uh, you wanted to know more about the uh, convolutional neural network in uh, in deep learning. Okay, so here you just write what is CNN. Deep learning, okay, and it can uh, give you an explanation about that. Uh, it's a uh, type of the of the deep learning algorithm that's often used to image for uh, and and video uh, analysis. And then made up the the multiple layer of the um, interconnected uh, nodes and so on. Okay, so that's the explanation. But you wanted to go further. Okay, you ask the the machine as it memorized what you said before. Yeah. Right. A code uh, for it in Python, okay, to classify images in a local folder. Okay, so then it will try to uh, try to write the code for it. Uh, sometimes it takes a little uh, a little time, but most of the time it's uh, so fast uh, on on writing the uh, responding on that. So it start to to write uh, the code. You see that it's uh, well also commented. Import necessary library. Set the local path uh, of uh, of your data. Um, we can use the, the image data generator uh, uh, function uh, to to read the data. Okay, do some modification, and then it goes and writes it. So it adds some uh, layers of the convolution uh, uh, of the of convolutions and max pooling and so on. So I don't go in details of stuff that, but this is how it can write a code for us. Okay, simply we say what we want, and if we write a code for for us, so simple. And efficient 
So that's in this the domain. So writing a CNN code, it's so so, so easy, but you can go for more advanced for example you want to you want to go for the segmentation okay uh, and so on so sometimes also it give you a network error for example as it's the just uh, released um, two weeks ago it has some uh, some problems okay uh, and so on if you see some some error like this you can just ask try again okay uh, it try uh, it again and will give you give you give you a code okay for for, for that. Uh, in addition to that, for example, uh, while well, thinking to generate the code, uh, in addition to that, for example, sometimes you 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 write a code and you have a problem on that. So you have an error. So what you do? Usually you copy paste the uh, copy the, the the error and paste it in the google and you you try to find a solution for that on uh, some website like the uh, stack overflow and so on okay uh, but uh, here you can come and write it here for example uh, here i have a, um, uh, i have a c++ code for example this is the the code for example i don't uh, do the coding uh, in the C++ but for a specific task I need to do this okay I write it but I have a problem okay uh, I have an error so what I can do I can just write fix the error and I put my error here okay so uh, let me to copy and paste the, the parts of the code okay and this Okay, and I import it. So it goes through the uh, the code on that, uh, and we try to to realize what's the the problem. So usually it should be it should respond so fast, but as I use it a lot uh, for different purposes, sometimes it take uh, take times. Okay, but it go to uh, to fix the problem. Okay, so it give you a code correct code. And at the end, it will explain what was the problem. Okay, so it says that uh, we had the, the typo C here, so uh, that it uh, returned a zero. Okay, so it was a typo, and it fixed it for us, and I, it explained it here for for me. Okay, uh, so maybe the usually when we have the typo on the in a, in a code, it's not easy to to find a solution on, on for that on the on the internet, but we ask it and it will it will respond okay uh, and we can do the, the other debugging or we can ask to generate more more code in different different domains okay and another interesting thing about the jet gpu is that so when you come here you will see the the user interface uh, and we can we can use it okay but in fact we have also uh, another option uh, to uh, to use it so it gives us uh, another environment that is called the playground okay uh, so in the playground so so if I open it so just write uh, open AI open a I dot com like a slash playground okay so it open it this so this is the the link beta dot open AI dot com uh, playground okay and on this you can uh, you can do some some modification here on the right you see different model uh, so that you use so the, the this one is the is the best one that uh, it's released a uh, couple of uh, weeks ago two weeks ago almost uh, but you can change it to to other so you will see an explanation on that and also you can see here uh, an option to to change the length of the response okay by default is 256 but you can go for example to 2000 something and you can try it now okay for example and now I ask, uh, for example, write a 1000, 
thousand uh, words essay about deep learning in uh, life science. Okay. So then it will it will try to to write it for uh, for me in a, uh, an essay or an article uh, with uh, a thousand words. Okay. So it will start to write it and it will it will complete it. Okay. That's how we can use it uh, for 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 science and and so on. So another option that we can uh, use. Uh, in in science uh, is to for example summarizing uh, an article a scientific article for example uh, so I will just close it uh, but if you let it to go it will uh, finish it and will will give you a uh, essay with a thousand thousand words okay uh, another option that you can you can use it is to to summarizing an article for example you have an article uh, like this I can put it here. For example, this is an article uh, that we recently published uh, on uh, medic uh, on uh, deep learning for the medical purposes. So, just take the some parts of that uh, introduction and material methods and the clinical use case, and you ask the the chat GPT to uh, summarize it for you. Okay, so you just need to write TL uh, DR and in that in double quotation you would paste the the part that you copied from the article okay so you put it here and the the machine will try to to to, to summarize it and give a paragraph about about that okay usually in the scientific uh, articles you have the abstract that talk about the, the the article but this is another way to, to summarize it so this article discussed the use of transfer learning uh, a machine learning approach uh, to improve the performance of algorithms for medical imaging the authors uh, proposing using the pre-trained models on healthy subject data to improve the performance of algorithms for diagnosing brain disease in, in patients uh, they demonstrated of the efficiency of this approach using functional uh, magnetic resource imaging fmri the data from healthy subject and patients with the brain tumor the results show that the using pre-trained models on healthy subjects data leads to better performance of the algorithms compared to the using model train only the on on patients data this approach can help uh, compensate uh, for the lack of data availability in medical imaging and improve the accuracy of the uh, diagnosis. That's how we can use also for in, in science. So I show you the different different approaches from the coding, debugging, uh, write an article, write an essay about something, uh, and how we can we can summarize it. Uh, don't hesitate to use it uh, go and make an account uh, and try to use it and enjoy it okay bye bye